गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड द डिज़ाइन ऑफ शिवर एंड अंडर दैट वी हैव सॉल्व्ड वन एग्जांपल रिगार्डिंग कैलकुलेशन ऑफ वेलोसिटी एंड डिस्चार्ज ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ सीवेज सो टुडे वी विल डू वन मोर एग्जांपल The question is, design the diameter of the combined shiver having following data. Area is given as five hundred hectare. Population is one lakh. Water supply is one fifty liter per capita per day. Intensity of rainfall is fifteen mm per hour. Impermeability factor is zero point five zero. Maximum permissible velocity is two meter per second. So let us solve the example. So first, it is generally assumed that the quantity of sewage is equal to eighty percent of the water supply. So here in the question, the water supply is given as one fifty liter. पर कैपिटा पर डे दैट मीन्स पर पर्सन पर डे इज द क्वांटिटी ऑफ वाटर सप्लाई इज वन फिफ्टी लीटर सो फॉर टोटल पॉपुलेशन इट विल बी इक्वल टू वन लाख सो द पॉपुलेशन टोटल पॉपुलेशन इज वन लाख so when with this we will multiply 150 so this is the total quantity of water in liter per day and in order to get the demand of water per second we have to divide this with 24 hour 60 minute and 60 second so this will give you the result in liter per second and it is assumed that the total quantity of water supply so this is the total quantity of water supply with in liter per second so when we will multiply this with 0.8 so this total when it will be multiplied with 0.8 so this will give you the quantity of sewage that is 80% of the quantity of water so this value is equal to 139 liter per second so this is the average quantity of sewage or average discharge but the shiver is designed depending upon the maximum discharge so maximum discharge is generally assumed as equal to maximum discharge is equal to 1.5 times the average discharge okay So one point five times what is the average discharge? That is one thirty nine. So maximum discharge is two hundred eight point five liter per second. This is the maximum discharge. And this value is the quantity of dry weather flow. Because this problem is regarding the design of diameter of the combined shear so in combined shear both dry weather flow and storm water will pass so this is the quantity of dry weather flow so dry weather flow is considered as 208.5 now we will find out the quantity of storm water 
द क्वांटिटी ऑफ स्टोर वाटर इज जनरली फाउंड आउट बाय द फॉर्मूला के आई ए डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी सो के इज द रन ऑफ कोफिशेंट और इम्परमेबिलिटी फैक्टर सो इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन आज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव इम्परमेबिलिटी फैक्टर आई इज द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ रेनफॉल इन मिलीमीटर पर आवर एंड इन द क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन आज फिफ्टीन मिलीमीटर पर आवर एंड एरिया इज द कैचमेंट एरिया इन हेक्टर सो इन आवर क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवेन आज फाइव हंड्रेड हेक्टर सो इट इज इट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री हंड्रेड सिक्सटी so the quantity of storm water will be ten point four one meter cube per second okay so now in order to convert this into liter per second this will be equal to ten point four one zero sorry ten thousand four hundred ten liter per second so the total discharge that is the combined discharge will be equal to combined discharge will be equal to the quantity of dry weather flow that is 208.5 plus storm water that is Ten thousand four hundred ten liter per second. So the total quantity of dry weather flow is one zero six one eight point five liter per second, or ten point six one eight meter cube per second okay so this is the total quantity of flow 10.618 now we will assume that so this is the 208.5 that is dry weather flow and this one is the your quantity of storm water then the total combined discharge will be equal to this much so now in order to design the diameter of the shiver we will assume that the shiver is running full okay so quantity is equal to cross sectional area of the shiver into permissible velocity as we have done in our last problem that quantity is equal to area of the shiver into permissible velocity of the flow of sewage so area will be equal to discharge by velocity and discharge is given as 10.618 divided by velocity is given in the question as 2 meter per second c this is the permissible velocity maximum permissible velocity that is 2 meter per second so we will divide the total discharge by velocity so this will give you the result as 5.309 square meter then area is equal to 5. Three zero nine square meter. As we are designing this as a circular sewer, so area will be equal to pi by four d square, which is equal to five point three zero nine. So from this we can find out the d, and it is coming out as two point six meter. Okay. So the diameter of the combined sewer is equal to will be equal to two point six meter. Okay. So with this we have completed the. problem so this is all about for today's class thank you